This is my experimental black soldier fly composter and harvester. Uh, I went about it completely different. Um, and I just noticed this morning that in my collection jar I have looks like four mature black soldier fly larvae. So that's good. So they obviously found their way into the system. So what I have here is this collection jar. And I have this whole thing right now sitting in my son's old uh, playhouse. So it's completely in the shade. <clears throat> that's why that jar is clear. is not a problem. It won't get too hot in there. So what I did was I put a kind of tea here. And this is a piece of um, shade cloth actually from my aquaponics garden. And that's just to provide a little extra ventilation. And normally I just leave an old yogurt cup just on the top like that, just in case any rainwater comes in, just to kind of cut down on that. So what I've done here is this um, this is experimental, so it's not very pretty, but this is a um, a hose from my old pool. It's just a uh, hose with ribs in it, and what I did was I cut it in half. Or I made a cut in it, didn't cut it in half, made a cut in it lengthwise, and then wrapped it around the ridges, these ridges right here on the bucket. And these, this is actually three different buckets. So this bucket here on the bottom collects the drainage. The middle bucket is the one that contains the food and the grubs. And there's a drain on the bottom of it. And this top bucket is an idea that I had. Uh, trying to keep flies out of the out of the bin and more appropriately fly maggots. I'm trying to keep the flies from laying eggs and my understanding is that um, black soldier flies will just lay their eggs on or above or near a food source whereas uh, other flies like common house flies and such like to lay their eggs in the food. They like to get in the food and do it. So if you can keep them from getting to the food I thought in theory maybe they wouldn't be able to lay eggs or they wouldn't anyway. So let me just show you what I got going on here. This bucket, which is nice, it was yellow because it can show a little distinction. Uh, it's gonna be hard to do with one hand, but it just sits in there, okay, like this. And what I did was I put shade cloth under there. So the inlet, the only inlet is right here. And this is um, a water drainage connection pipe. And I just took a PVC cap and put some screws in it. It's this pretty pretty good gap, and then there's you know see if I can see under there. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, so there's pretty good gaps there for the flies to get in. On the website called Diptera, I uh, found that black soldier fly larvae don't really have a problem climbing vertically, provided there's a little moisture, or uh, also if the surface is rough, even if it's just a little bit of moisture. Um, so they say you can rough up the surface with some sandpaper and that's what I did. I just went in there and just really roughed it up. I'm just trying to see if there's any... Yeah, there, there's a, a tiny bit of moisture, nothing dripping. Um, you can't even see it, but as I rub my finger against it I can see that there's a tiny bit of moisture on the sides. So. Um, it's enough moisture plus the the rigidity or the I'm sorry the uh, the roughness of the uh, plastic by roughing it up for them to climb. Then what I did was I cut a series of slots and I did it in alternating channels so that obviously you can't cut a slot all the way around or the top will come off. So I did it in such a way that if they climb up here they'll either hit this slot if they find a a channel between slots they'll hit the next slot and I just overlapped them all that way and it's still very strong and rigid so it stays on there pretty good and if you can, yeah I guess you can kind of see in there you can kind of see the inside of the hose so they climb out they hit the hose and as you can you know if you even look down here in the jar they kind of move around in circles around the edge of something that's something that I noticed in my very limited experience in working with these guys. Uh, they'll just sit there and walk around in circles until they get tired and basically go to sleep, it looks like. 
Um, right now these guys are pretty active and they're moving in circles along the edge of the collection jar. So I was thinking if they do that, that they would just move around in circles around the hose and uh, eventually find their way to, uh, this is a, oops, sorry, bad focus, but uh, eventually find their way to um, the T fitting here and then on out. Again, this is shade cloth, which is porous um, to allow some ventilation. And the shade cloth in here will keep flies out. They can't get to the food, um, but it's porous enough where if, if black soldier flies lay eggs on the, on the corrugated plastic I have in here, the eggs can hatch and the larva will drop down and they're small enough to get through this mesh easily. That's, that's, that's the theory and that's, my, that's what I'm testing. Um, the first test is complete. Uh, I, did, I did have some um, larvae in here. Um, when I started, I took them from my other bin, threw them in here. Um, they've obviously matured, eaten, as, as about, uh, I want to say four days ago. So they've eaten enough, gotten themselves matured, and then uh, they found their way out of the bucket. So they've climbed vertically through the slots, around the tube, into the collection. So here's the, the uh, connector I was telling you about. So that just makes the end. And uh, I put some silicone on there to try to make it rainproof. The silicone didn't stick at all, so I might use, there's another uh, product that used for uh, vinyl rain gutters. Um, if I find rain is a problem, I'll, I'll use that stuff instead. That sticks to plastic really well. So here's the inside with the shade cloth, and there you go, hold up the light, you can see it's very porous. Um, the pores are uh, small enough where flies can't get in to the food. Uh, is that black soldier fly eggs? Or if that's what I think it is, if black soldier flies have been laying eggs in here, then this, so far, this little experiment is, is working, and um, that's awesome. So far, so good. Uh, I don't know if anyone's ever tried something like this or not, but this seems to be working. So there's a fly right there inside, but he can't get to the food, so I'm going to let him, he can do whatever he wants. But let's make sure there are no flies in there. It's good. I'll put this back on. And that's, uh, that shade cloth is just held on with some uh, electrical tape, which made the, because I just cut, obviously I just cut this off a, or another bucket. And it forms just enough of a, of a tight fit there, so it just sits in there. Push it in there and it... It's nice and tight and then the top goes back on and uh, goes on a lot more a lot easier than it came off so there there's my experiment um, if, if this works uh, I'd be really happy because I had um, a lot of problem with my other bin with fly maggots. Um, they just got extremely numerous to the point where they're crawling all over the place, outside the bin, all around the ground, on the house, um, freaking my wife out <laughs> after I told her that, uh, you know, the black soldier flies keep the maggots away from everything I've read. And then I guess they do, but it just takes, it takes a long time. At least that's what all the, uh, the so-called experts are saying. So it just takes a long time. That's something I didn't know. Um, I didn't know that it took such a long time um, you know, and that it, it was a hurdle that you had to get over. So now I know that, and I'm, so I'm trying to find a way to kind of, you know, avert that hurdle, at least in one aspect. So if, if this works, and it seems to be so far, if those actually are black soldier fly uh, eggs, and feel free to comment and let me know if you know better than me, then uh, this little system works. And uh, this is just a proof of concept, and I'm sure I'll come up with a, a more aesthetically pleasing uh, way of doing this. Uh, but that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys.